Hello guys, uh, today I wanted to show you how to embed audio files into HTML page, uh, web page, and uh, we can do it using uh, audio HTML5 uh, audio element. And as you can see, I have here in my folder, um, I have already the HTML document, uh, and I have uh, style.css and then I have two files. So let's that's the first one, uh, test mp3. Let's just play it. So this was test mp3 file and then I have the same file in a different format OGG or OG so that the second one okay so now let's uh, go to our VS Code editor and see how we can uh, embed those. Okay, this is my HTML document. So we have our body element, and I already have some uh, markup here. I'm just gonna, to save time, I'm just gonna copy and paste the markup and just explain what it does. Okay, so um, as you can see, we have our body element. And within body, we place the figure element that wraps around the audio element here. So within audio, so first uh, to add controls, we can add controls attribute. So this one, it adds default uh, control options uh, within a browser, like uh, playback, pause, and stop buttons. Then, so I just added some fig caption, so test in MP3 and OG sound files. And now we have two source uh, source elements. So the first, the, the way this works basically is a browser will be reading from top to bottom. So the first one is, we have here test.mp3. So what's going to happen is when uh, when we open this this uh, in in the browser, the browser will uh, that the browser that can play back is able to play back MP3 files will start playing this MP3, okay, from the first source element, and then a browser that cannot play MP3 files will skip this one and go to the second one test dot ogg or test dot og and uh, will play from the second source so that's the main principle how this works uh, what else we can do with the audio element so first let's go and see how it looks in the browser okay so this is my Chrome. And this is default controls of uh, Chrome. Okay. As you can see, yes, so it's playing. So, um, so the default controls we have playback and pause stop button. Uh, this is the volume button. Oh, sorry, it's not um, not volume, it's um, like a playback. Like you can just drag the playback further or to the end or uh, to the beginning of the file. This is the, the, the volume. So volume, and this one is uh, playback speed. So you can control the playback speed. And let's just out of curiosity, let's see how this looks. And uh, I'm just gonna go to Firefox. 
so this is my Firefox Okay, uh, as you can see, Firefox, it doesn't have the playback uh, speed control button, but it's just uh, pretty much the same control, so... So, playback. So, you can control the playback. Uh, again, volume control. And pretty much very similar to Chrome. So, what else? We have... Uh, Opera. So let's just try. I'm just gonna resize the window. Opera. Let's see how it looks in the Opera browser. Okay, pretty much same as uh, Chrome. Um, implemented the default control same in Chrome. So it's playback and um, volume, and then also. Opera offers playback uh, speed control. And what else? Next one is the um, Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer pretty much the same. Okay, so those are the, just the, the default controls, but um, you can guys go to this caniuse.com and then check og format which browsers support og format what what is the support for og and uh, mp3 as well you can check mp3 what's it's pretty much widely supported okay and what else we can do is we can style this if you go to this link, it's uh, developer.mozilla.org, and then you just search for HTML element and then audio, audio. So here they explain how you can style it. So basically, they're saying by default it comes by default it comes as inline. Okay, let's check out of curiosity. This is I'm in Chrome. I'm just gonna go to Chrome Developer Tools and Just click here. Let's see. Okay, display in line. So our audio element by default uh, comes as in line. And what they're saying here is it's often a good idea to set the value to block to improve control uh, over position and layout. Basically, what they're saying is if you're if you change display property to block level element, so you have more control on this. So you can use border, body radius, padding and margin. And I already have my CSS here. So let's just try this and see how it looks. So we change it to display block. And what we can do, say, for example, now we can add some background color. It's a background color. Um, I have border here, so we can add some border. We can add some as well as they suggest border radius. Uh, I already have my rule, I'm just going to copy and paste and then add some padding. Because background will be seen through the padding. 
so we, I added some padding so you pretty much have like a better look of this element and I just added here some just center it on the page pretty much it guys so that's all I wanted to share and I will post the link to uh, Mozilla uh, developer website this one or you can guys just uh, go like, by yourself or just see the link below this video that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys today and as always thank you for watching